Hi, my name is Susan and I'm a naturalist at the Ogden Nature Center. Join me and my friend Samson and Heidi as we talk to you a little bit about birds. So, looking at Samson, can you tell me what makes this bird different from other types of animals? What are the things about a bird that makes them different? Well, one of the things that makes birds different is that you might say that they're going to fly, and he can fly, but that's not the only animal that flies. Bats can fly, and insects can fly, and even squirrels, some types, can fly. So flight isn't really the only adaptation that Samson has that makes him a bird. Now, an adaptation is something about an animal's body or about the way it acts that makes it able to survive in its habitat. I'm going to show you a picture of this fish. This is a Utah fish. It's a trout. What do you think it is about this fish? What is it about its body? What kind of adaptations does it have that allows it to live underwater? It's something we can't do. If you said gills, you're right. Fish have gills. Gills are an adaptation that help a fish breathe underwater so he can live there and thrive there. So now let's look back at Samson and see if we can find some of his adaptations. Samson has on his face a nice, strong, curved, sharp beak. And this beak is sharp and allows him to take his prey and tear it like a steak knife into bite-sized pieces because Samson needs to swallow his food whole. He can't chew because he doesn't have any teeth. Birds don't have teeth because teeth are too heavy and they wouldn't be able to fly. So his curved sharp beak is an adaptation. Another adaptation that Samson has are those talons or those big long pointed toenails at the ends of his toes. His feet are very strong which allows him to grab his prey and hold on tight and those talons stick in and make sure that that animal isn't going anywhere until he can fly to a place where he can actually eat. But there's one adaptation that's pretty obvious about Samson that is the one thing that makes birds different from all other animals and that's that Samson has feathers. Only birds have feathers. And the cool thing about birds' feathers is that birds have a lot of different types of feathers on their body. The first feathers a bird gets, and the ones he keeps all his life, are the ones closest to his body, and they are called downy feathers. And they're really fluffy and soft, and if you see baby birds, you see they're all covered with fluff and fuzz. Well, those are downy feathers, and the bird will have downy feathers as it grows, but those are the warmest kinds of feathers, so they're the ones closest to his body to keep him warm. On top of those downy feathers are something called a contour feather. Contour feathers are kind of flat, and they're all different sizes. They're all different colors. This is an owl contour feather. It actually allows the owl to look like tree bark. But these feathers cover the downy feathers and keep him dry. So his downy feathers keep, keep him warm, and his contour feathers keep him dry. Another type of feather that a bird has is called a flight feather. And a flight feather is curved. You can see how it curves just like this, just like an airplane wing. And this is the one that allows him to get air underneath his wings and lift him up in the sky so that he can fly. The last type of feather a bird has is a tail feather. And this is actually a tail feather from a red-tailed hawk. It might even have been one that Samson let us have when he lost it. Tail feathers do a lot of things. They help birds steer so he doesn't run into something when he's flying. They help him stay up on a perch or up on a branch or a tree so he doesn't fall off. They help him balance. And in the case of many male birds, tail feathers can help birds get a girlfriend. So this peacock has these beautiful blue and green tail feathers that fan way out. And he can fan them out and he can look at the girls and say, look at me, I'm the most handsome one. And so this is how he gets a mate. And also, these feathers are how this peacock defends himself. Each one of these feathers has a spot in it that looks like an eyeball. So if you are a predator looking at a peacock, all you see are dozens of eyes looking back at you, and all of a sudden, you think, hey, there's a lot of other animals over there. I think I'm gonna go find something that's a little bit easier to eat. And they move along, and they help the peacock protect himself. The other thing you might notice about this boy peacock is how bright and pretty he is. Birds in the bird world, the boy birds, are the pretty ones. They're the ones with the brightest colors. They are the ones that have to attract a mate because they are not the ones that sit on the nest. Can you think about why a mama bird wouldn't want to have bright feathers? Why she would want to kind of be dull and blend in with her surroundings? She wants to be dull so that she can sit on the nest and sit on the eggs and protect her babies. A predator will walk by and not see her. 
The last thing that makes birds different than some other animals is that all birds lay eggs. Samson hatched out of an egg. All birds hatch out of eggs. Mama birds have to lay eggs in which the babies grow outside their bodies because if they carry the babies inside their bodies while they grew, like people do, or like puppies and kittens grow inside the mother's body, the bird would be way too heavy and wouldn't be able to fly. Their bodies aren't big enough to hold all that weight. So they lay the eggs, they lay it on the eggs for 30 days, and then the eggs will hatch as the baby grows inside. Well, I hope you enjoyed joining Samson and I learning about birds today. We had a good time teaching you, didn't we, Sam? Everybody say bye, Samson. We hope to see you at the center. Thank you.